Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, welcome back. As always, we're joined by Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's bowling on the easy house shot. And uh, he's throwing the one to rule them all, the remix from Ebonite. Yeah, see it hook? It's almost like he knew it was going to hook. Yeah. So, so this is, you don't call it a comeback because no. it never went away. <laughs> Um, the one remix is the newest version of the stupidly popular one, one line. Yeah. We um, had that contest a while back where you had all the different ones that the you could, angular uh, one, the yeah. real one. And you the never one knew what one. you were gonna get, and the gold one, and then yeah, you know, so the two one. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is this, this is, is pretty special. This is new technology. We've got uh, well, look new at this. covered technology. Ooh. Try throwing, keeping it on the lane there. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. He's a little, little uncomfortable because he's, I mean, he's playing so yeah, deep right yeah. now. Um, for Wayne here, we uh, we ended up having to move him a little bit because we done his own change. Yeah. At that first shot, hooking through the yeah. through the nose. Second one. Eh. Yeah. So we're gonna split the difference here. And come back a little bit. Let's talk about the one remix while we're waiting for him to come back on the screen. So here. it's got the new GB or Game Breaker. Yep. 14.4 solid cover stock. So it is the now the new strongest core that Ebonite make, or cover, cover ever, the cover. Uh, yeah, yep. makes. Now they're going to match it with the Centrex Symmetric Mass BIOS core. Now that is a lot of, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot to say, but. Can somebody just like call it what it is, like the Lego head guy? The Lego or head the guy, yeah. The box. <laughs> it actually is the same core that was in the one that last came out, I think, I believe, in 2017. Yes. The Centrex core, the kind of cool thing about this entire yeah. line, from 2005 to 2017, they use that same Centrex the core, core. Yeah. in all of the ones. ones. Yeah. Um, and the core that they've created, even though they've had to recreate it for Dot and the yeah. core, sure. yeah. its performance is spot on. Like the 15-pound numbers are almost identical yes. all the way through. But the impressive thing is they've managed to keep the 14 pound numbers close. Yeah. And still be able to put it in a 16, a 15, a 14, a 13 and a 12. Yeah, it's but, it's yeah. really nice to see that 14 pound that performance because a lot of people are moving into that 14, 14 pound. Range, yeah. And that is a that is a huge core for a 14 yeah. pound ball. Now we do have a bit of um uh finish difference. Yes. Right? So we got 500, 1,000, 2,000, and then crowned compound compared to the 500, 1,000, and the factory fin uh, polish. Right? Yeah. In the end, it just kind of evens out to being basically the same distances, yeah. creating yeah. them a little bit different way. Yeah. Because nobody wants to use polish anymore. Yeah, nobody likes polish. So, I mean, we saw Wayne strike. Um, he was two boards left, and then he started to try to shape it a little bit yeah. more. And this thing started to, just to perform. Yeah. For speed dominant players, maybe the 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 crown, as you can see, our, yeah. our bonus here. Maybe that that crown compound probably take a a little bit of that off. Yeah. Just hit it with a fresh two thousand pad. Probably add another two three boards hook. Yeah. Like this, I like this ball for speed dominant players. Yeah. That gigantic core in it. Yeah. You can see he's not that much far off the the bonus for the overall performance. Yep, so. but you can see it's much yeah. earlier. Yeah. That core settles down and rolls forward. Yeah. I mean, it really is a monstrous core. Yeah. You look at the picture of yeah. it. It almost like touches the top and the bottom of the ball. It's yeah, like they didn't have a very long pin to hold it in the dot. Like That's to right. Hold it up to get it to pour around. I'll tell you. Now here you are. Now you have. Wow, that hooked a lot. Whoa. <laughs> um, one of the things I liked uh, this ball for you was the fact that you have a lot of tilt. Yes. So we can use a longer pin distance to get the ball to lose tilt and take advantage of this gigantic core, core to, yeah. to make it rev up even faster and make it lose tilt faster. Yeah. I, I tend to like larger cores. Yep. Um, 
It's not a secret, and I don't like polish. Yep. Which is, you know, thank goodness the rest of the industry is catching up with me. So but we're going to make a zone <laughs> change here. That, to get that's the, the key word is not. Zone change. And watch the way this ball tips up for you. Yeah. Oh. oh. It's right there. See? Just a slight difference here or there. Just, you know, that's that's an adjustment. Like Yeah, and we're actually going to make that adjustment. You know what? Uh, some people said, uh, I w read in one of our comments, someone was like, well, you guys don't all strike all the time anymore. And we're like, well, yeah, we're trying to show you the ranges. Yeah. But some people still want to just see a strike. I, I'm... I guess I'm okay with that. I mean, so we're gonna make a one board move. Yeah. For that that uh, ten pin there, just one board. Just one board. This is just Let's power. see what happens. Power of how you go through the the one three. Yeah. Dunk. 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 <laughs> and you could see very yeah. much go if you go back and look, you could see that ball lose tilt really hard, yeah. start to roll forward and take advantage of that core. Well, that's the thing is a large core plus dynamic core is going to give you amazing hitting power. Yes. Right? As, as close as you're going to get, I think, to two piece, like two piece as yeah. you can get. I mean, And still get those core dynamics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the only way you're going to get closer is getting that dynamic core, too. So look yeah. at this. We zone changed you again. Yeah. Now watch, watch. this. It's you see it there. tip up. Yeah, yeah. So this is... I love this ball for my speed dominant players. Yeah. This is the kind of ball that I could see the mixed players putting in their bag. Yeah. Um, you know, if they want to swing the lane in league, that's great. Yeah. But imagine putting this at a flat 2000 on a nice sport pattern. pattern. Oh, yeah. Um, when you need the ball <coughs> to change direction quickly down lane. Yeah. Um, I like this a yeah, it's lot. A, it's a very awesome piece to have in your bag for tournaments and stuff. Oh, I mean, that was another... Paralyzer think, yeah. 5. I was going to say, that might have been... A, was that another zone change? That was another... Was, yeah, we brought yeah. you back a little bit just to see if you could throw it hard. Yeah. yeah. And it's it still made it through. Yeah. And I always love... I think when you watch left-handed, you can see things a little easier. Yeah. Because um, you're not used to it. And you can yeah. see that ball drop. You see yeah. that core drop in. Here you are with the bonus... As we always say, we use this yeah. ball because every brand has one with this style of cover stock, this core dynamics, yeah. so that everyone can compare apples to apples. Yeah. And yes, for some people out there that have been bothering saying that I am coming around the ball a little bit more, I am I took the summer off and we're still getting into league. Yep. And yes, I am coming around it a little bit more and I apologize for that, but I'm doing my best to Now look not, at this so. shape difference. Yeah. That actually yeah. might have been the same distance or a little bit farther down lane yeah. when that cornered, and it cornered hard. Hard, yeah. You take advantage of that, getting out to that friction and making that move. Yep. And now let's just show off a little bit, you know, because we can. We're going to show off a couple of the different shapes that you were able to create with this. You can see that. That one's earlier. That one's a little later. Yeah. But they both got to the same spot in the end. Yep. <laughs> Just by either getting around it or flattening yeah, it yeah. out. You don't have to apologize for that, you know? It's okay. Oh. You're not a machine. No. But I, I know mean, somebody somebody did Mrs. bash Port's me pretty hard. It's like, you might as well just spin it. And yeah. I'm like, well, you know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. That's but. right. Mrs. Porter would say you're a machine because you're the man. Yeah. Here I am. Uh, did we think that this ball was going to be anywhere near the pocket? <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, I think it made the second hash marker before it started to hook, yeah. at least. But this is, I mean, I am low tilt. When I throw it forward, I am low tilt and rev dominant. Yeah. Big core like this generally does not look good trying to play up the lane. I was going to say, that thing, you're going to get it to lay down, like halfway down the lane and just... I may have laid down no, in my back, back swing. <laughs> uh, now, I personally really like... The finish that we put on this, or that is put on this, yeah. not we, uh, the royal we. Um, you can see once I moved a little bit, yeah, I could create a little bit more shape with it, but I had to get it into the oil. I had yeah. to. My break point down lane, you can see that one was quite quite a ways yeah. out. That was fine, but if I didn't get it in the oil early. Oh yeah, it was gonna grab like it. the The cover response to the friction is uh, like strong. Yes, 
Now, I could see myself taking this uh, rather than being at 502,000, maybe going uh, 2,000, 3,000 yeah. to get a little bit more. Cause, I mean, this is a, a little faster response cover than we're used to in a song oh, as yeah. well. Um, I could see being, for League, that would make it look a lot better. Yeah, for sure. For, um, oh, look at this. Yeah, that's what happens when you get around it and get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's what happens, because you can see that one. I got around it. It got out to the friction too early. Yeah, and just. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Um, on Sport Pattern, I would love to see this at like 500 on some heavy oil. Oh, that would be dirty. Yeah, like a, <laughs> a like a um, a short pattern. Yeah, and just l allowing that core to run through mm. the pins. This, I think, this would be well, really good for that. Like I said, and just having the dynamic core, the dom I can't talk. Dynamic core, dynamic core, <laughs> and the big core, just just that hitting power you would have just to annihilate the pins. Where a lot of other people are going to be playing smaller cores to control it. Zone right? change again. Guess what? Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you, whoops. This is <laughs> it's a very interesting ball. A faster response. I don't want to call it a fast response no. solid, but it really is. Yeah. Um and that core, I don't know for for myself, yeah. for league, but I think f as I said for tournaments. Oh yeah. It's that's where this yeah. ball is going to shine more. And that's the thing is we're still early in the season. Um at our center especially and it happens every center and people just don't realize it as much over the time slowly the oil builds up and fills all the grooves in that yep. hasn't been filled in over the summer with the lack of leagues oh and guess, guess what what zone change zone change and then so it will slowly the lanes will seem to be more wet or longer or more volume don't Ooh, all the core. single ladies all the single ladies yeah <laughs> um, so that's what I mean. Like right now, we're early in the season. And you can see it. There's lots of free friction. There is so. a lot of friction right yeah. now. Uh, so here I am throwing it left-handed. I can see this ball at the top of my bag. Um, I really, like I said, I like the layout on it. I, yeah. I think I really like this on a short pattern. Oh yeah. That shape. I, I don't get to throw cores like this. Every time yeah. I throw a big core like this, it rolls forward. Yeah. It's really, really rolls forward. Here I am with my bonus, my favorite ball. Um, because there's not much I can, not many balls I can. Well, get to do it's that. got a lot of more room for error than yeah. other stuff, and that's what a benchmark's ball is supposed to do. I mean, that really is the key with that ball. It is a true benchmark. It's, it's ball. yeah. Oh, and here we go. You can see as it rolls. Now watch the shape difference. Way earlier, yeah. much stronger off it. Yeah, you were outside it and everything. But I started much farther inside, well, so I yeah. was able to use the yeah. oil to get outside of it. Yeah. So uh, I like the one. I uh, I think it's cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.